This week's video is covering the entertainment district arc of Demon Slayer. Oh my goodness! Was that sh was that shit peak? Whoo! I'm about to break down how the arc went. I'm about to put y'all on some game. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. I don't know what you're doing. You're slacking. You need to catch up. Season two, more precisely, the entertainment district arc was absolutely incredible and stick around because i'm about to be doing my first ever svo award show yes sir so let's get right into the fucking video For my kings and queens that haven't watched the Entertainment District arc of Demon Slayer yet, I'm about to break down the art for y'all. Spoiler free though! I'm not about, I gotta take care of y'all. I'm about to let y'all let y'all know what's going on. But I, I'm, I want y'all to watch it. If you haven't seen it yet, I need you to see it for yourself. It's worth the watch. I'm gonna break it down. And if you already seen it, you can stick around for the little breakdown, for the little review. But that's the award show. You can cut straight to that if you already seen it. You don't feel like hearing me break it down. It's okay. I got something for you later on in the show. It's okay. Go ahead. Click the timestamp if you want to. I ain't, I ain't going to be mad at you. I ain't going to be mad at all. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be mad. But getting right into it, the entertainment district arc sounds exactly how it sounds. The demon prostitute arc. <laughs> As what niggas wanted to call it uh, leading up to the season. Hey, this arc was peak, peak this arc was absolutely incredible this arc is uh is all about our main trio Tanjiro, Nezuko, Zenitsu, all them boys they finished doing the little training after the Mugen train arc and Tengen the sound Hashira comes through to the butterfly mansion he needs someone to go with him to the entertainment this yard this demon going crazy do it that what you want to. <laughs> it's demon going crazy, so he comes over to try to get someone to help him out with the with his mission. He tries to take our take our take take our girl out. We right the squad's not having that. Tank it out first off. Tank, tank it. We ain't we ain't gonna let you slide off uh off uh that 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 smack dog. That that's federal, my nigga. That's federal, G. It is what it is. We just keep we just gonna keep it pushing. Keep, keep it pushing. So, instead of Aoi, obviously, our main trio, takes Aoi place to go on the mission. And that's the whole arc. They are on a mission to weed out the demon that is lurking in the entertainment district. This arc has so many fantastic moments. Ufotable had no reason to put movies out every single week. The animation was better than season one episode 19 of season one got dwarfed by so many episodes this season the fights were insane our characters they didn't have this super complicated complex development don't get me wrong that's not what demon slayer does but like we got to see different sides of our characters this art and it was great it was fucking fantastic it was so much fun to sit down and watch tangan Incredible character, very unique Hashira, very deep past. I fuck with Tengen. A lot of people fuck with Tengen. Tengen was great. Our main trio did their thing. The demon that we meet for this arc is cool. I really fuck with her. I ain't gonna say nothing else. You need to watch this arc. Obviously, you need to get through the Mugen Train arc. Once you got through that, you need to get to this arc. You need to sit down and watch this arc. This arc is the best. 11 episode stretch of any anime I've ever seen. It was so hype week to week. I were, and I've read the manga. Seeing it animated, oh, I was hype every single week. This arc is fantastic. And that's all I'm gonna tell you. That's all I'm gonna tell you. That's all I can say. That's all I can say, bro. You gotta go watch it. You gotta. You gotta watch it. Come on, you got to watch it. You gotta watch it. Now go ahead, go watch it. Come on, go watch it. <laughs> now, if you've already seen it, you know what time it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's time for the SVO Award Show, nigga. Let's get right into it. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Now that all the people who may or may not have seen it are, you feel me? They're gone. They're gonna win to watch it. Now it's time for us, the demons, the the ones that have actually seen it, to go crazy. Now it's time for me to geek out. And the way I'm about to geek out, I'm about to I'm about to do something crazy. You see me with the with the little bow tie on. You know what time it is. It's time for the it's time for the first ever SVO award show. You know what time it is, bro. You know what time it is. So, I got what? I got a couple of awards to hand out. This art was too peak. We gotta we gotta look back. We gotta look back, bro. This art was too peak. So getting right into the first award. I'm gonna start off with a a unique award. I'm gonna start off with what I call the UG award. Uh, SVO, you sound like a dumbass. What the fuck is that? Hold on. Let me explain the UG award. We already know my dog UG for JJK. He's the OG sidekick, OG wingman, right? UG, the type of the type of nigga we all like because UG. He don't care. All he do is fade. He don't need to hear nothing else. If you someone who's the op, who's the enemy, you're getting boxed. So the UG award is dedicated to the to the person who I felt did the most boxing. Put the put it down for the team. So you know the UG award. I was I was tussling. My dog. We we already know the boy Onoske did his thing. My man, my man took a knife to the chest, decapitated Doki. He was doing mad work. And no skill doing mad work. He was the, he was the first one to even find Doki in the first place. And no skill doing mad work. I was thinking about it. Zenitsu was doing crazy work too. No, no whining. Straight box from Zenitsu. Zenitsu didn't give none of that. We saw Godspeed out of Zenitsu. We saw hella crazy shit out of Zenitsu. That boy going crazy. Nezuko was going crazy. She was boxing now. Went one on one with Doki. Had Doki fighting. Perks. But I'm sorry, I gotta get a UG award to my dog Tanjiro. Tanjiro went dumb. When Tanjiro went god mode, eyes bleeding, gave Doki the business. So I'm sorry. Tanjiro, Tanjiro putting it down for the team. Fingers broke, still fighting. He couldn't breathe, still fighting. He was, bro. He's like, mm, I get, I, I get did like that. Tanjiro got hooked like a fish. I get did like that. I ain't gonna lie. You got it. You got it. You ain't, you ain't gonna get nothing from me. Tanjiro, despite everything, the man couldn't walk, couldn't breathe, was doing everything. He, oh my goodness, he put everything on the line for the squad, and he kept boxing. So the winner of the UG Award is Tanjiro. Con- Comedo, bro. Come on, stop playing with him. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Getting on to the next award. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for this one. I've been waiting for this one. The least valuable player award goes to fucking the snake pillar Obanai Igoro. What the fuck was that? We needed you. We needed you, bro. And where was you at? We fighting, the, we fighting upper ranks. The the whole entertainment district are in shambles, ashes. And then you gonna show up at the end talking about some damn upper six. Did y'all like that? I guess I'll give you praise. Come on, bro. You can, where, where was you at though? So where was you at though? It, it, where was you at though? We needed help. Where, where, when we needed you most, where was you at? Damn, that's crazy. So look, I fought with Igro, read the manga. I fought with Igro down the line. But I ain't gonna lie, he 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 gotta oh, he gotta hold the L for this one. He's gotta get the I was I, I don't give it to Doki. Doki did nothing but sell, bro. 
She was selling. She got her shit decapitated three times. Three? Come on, Doc. You gotta do better than that. But nah, E Girl got a hold. He got a hold the least viable player for this art, man. He showed up. He looked cool. But nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You, 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 you tripping. You tripping, my G. You are tripping. Best villain. Well, you already heard. You already heard. Doc, he, Doc, you kind of selling. I ain't gonna lie. Only reason, Doc, only reason the fight was any longer was because of our, because of the winner of the best villain award. My dog, Gutero. They did him so well. He was animated nice. His his voice was annoying and raspy, and that is exactly how I imagined it in the manga. Ev his blood scythe, blood demon art, oh, so cool. From design to feel to how crazy he is, bro, fighting style, all of that, Gutero was the sole reason that fight was even a fight, because Daki got her shit handled, packaged. Daki was a non-factor if Gutero don't come out there and do what he got to do. Gutero, my G, cool-ass villain. He a weird-ass nigga, but Gutero is elite, and he's the winner of the best villain in the world. Clap it up for the man, you know. He a G. He a G. He a G. The best moment has to go to Gutero and Daki in Purgatory. That that moment hurt. This moment, obviously, this was after we we uh, learned about their backstory. Gutero and Daki being actually related. You know, Gutero being just a debt collector, filthy. He suffered until his sister came around. She was pretty. She went into the entertainment district. She was brutally killed, burned at the stake because she stabbed one of her clients. And, you know, they became demons. And they've just been terrorized in the entertainment district. It got to a point when they got their heads chopped off. We all know, like, they were arguing, da 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 Oh, you're this, you sold me, oh, da 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 you're ugly. Gutero's, like, the whole, we find out, like, the whole reason is, like, he did all of this for his sister, to protect his sister, because she had more potential than he did. So they get into purgatory, and he's like, don't follow me, like. Where I'm about to go, you don't deserve to go. Like, I'm the reason you became what you became. You'd have been a perfectly normal person if it wasn't for me. So he, start, he starts feeling down on himself. And then Doki's like, nah, like, I don't want to go anywhere if it's not with you. And I was like, that shit, that shit touched my soul. They are awful individuals. They killed a lot of people that shouldn't have lost their lives. But to see that, it warmed my heart. And they went into hell together. And it was amazing. I almost gave this award to the moment where Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Nosuke cut off, cut uh, Yusuro Daki's heads together. Oh, it was beautifully animated. It was amazing. It was satisfying. The payoff was there. But I'm sorry that that purgatory scene when they walked into hell as siblings, man. It gave me like vibes. Like, what if Tanjiro became a demon too? And it's just Tanjiro and Neg Tanjiro and Nezuko are literally Gutsuro and Daki. If everything went wrong, so like seeing that and seeing how they ended up like reuniting together in that going to hell, bro, like it it, it 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 hit me. You know what I'm saying? Especially uh, having sisters. Obviously, we're not demons who eat people, but having sisters of my own, it's like damn, like, they was together. You know what I'm saying? That's all you can ask for. So that definitely that. They win best moment easily for me. But finally, you know I had to save the best for last. The MVP of the Entertainment District Art. You come on, you already know. Tengen Uzui was the most valuable player in the Entertainment District Art. I'm sorry. That man lost an arm and I was poisoned. He literally, bro. It, he was dead we all thought it was over we all thought the man was dead we was like well we lost Tanjiro's getting tortured and prodded by Gutero he almost gets his eye stabbed out and turn it who's we coming that bitch wow save the day he his musical score technique his sound breathing everything about him was amazing he oh him oh he went so mental this arc he was the X-Factor of this arc. 
He may not be one of the strongest Hashira, but God damn did he show out. He showed out. He put everything on the line. Even when it was over and Yutaro body exploded, he still showed out. He still saved. He still did his thing. Uh, Tengen Uzui, congratulations on being the MVP of the Entertainment District Art. Man, close second. Tanjiro deserves something. But once again, he was boxing it every every second. And Nosuke was up there for my MVP. Because they don't find Daki if Nosuke don't find her. That was just... Zenitsu had a shout. Nezuko had a shout. Because Tanjiro wouldn't have made it out. If Nezuko ain't come on and do what she had to do. But man, I got to give it to Tengen. Tengen did his thing. He's a GOAT. And I'm proud of him. I'm proud of everyone in this art. I want to say a deep thank you to y'all for watching the SVO Award Show. I want to give a deep thank you to Ufotable for how beautifully animated and how good a job they did with this arc. I want to say a deep thank you to Aimer for giving us that be those beautiful openings and endings. This season, this arc was astounding. It was an easy 10 out of 10. I enjoyed every waking second of watching that. And I am so excited for season three. You, you, you couldn't even imagine. My pants are soaked. <laughs> okay, let me stop. 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 Oh, but nah. I just, oh, this arc was incredible. If you made it through the video, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. If you like the video, leave a like for me. If you fuck with me, drop that subscribe for me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. Go watch Demon Slayer and SBR.